All right. We got a U.S. boiler. Burnham K2. Wow, look at those old clocks right there. It's crazy. Almost as old as that. Telephone switching. All right, let's see. We do have the K2 service kit. <laughs> let's put that off to the side for a second. We have a... Uh, receptacle and switch we have manual we have manual we have a flu temperature sensor we have a bunch of parts here and let's see let's take the cover off and there's our sage controller there's our control uh display module this is the k2 this is the 180 this is from 2015 december there's our serial number and we're working with 180,000 BTU max input. Minimum of 36. We have, appears to be two zones. Let's take a look underneath. We have, there's our hydraulic manifold right there. Got some light on there now. So that's, that's our hydraulic manifold supply and return. It's kind of like a primary loop. Here is probably gonna be supply and return is there. Looks like we have a ground floor zone and a second floor split return to zone, two split to uh, two returns there. And we have one leaving. So somewhere, see that one inch? That one inch is leaving. So somewhere on the first floor it is um, split. There's our condensate and goes into a pump and then god knows where it's pumping away to outside so yeah it'll freeze there in the winter there's our relief valve let's see what we have here we have a 30 psi relief valve good um let's find power let's find a power switch right here okay let's flick that on okay display is loading and let's see what goes on here let's go with status and we have a call for central heat. And right now it's in startup mode, drive purge. We have an active fault. And let's go to fault status. And we have soft lockout number three, boiler safety limit. We have open limits wired to the input or open jumper on gas pressure switch, low water cutoff or exit limit. And okay, there we go. Looks like our float switch is out, which is also connected to our air proving switch required for closed for pre-purge. So let's uh, take this thing apart and see what we got going on. All right, we uh, unscrew that little doodad, that little doodad, little thumb screw open up the door. I wish it opened all the way, but uh, we have a pressure switch here hooked up to our gas valve. We're gonna pull that off the gas valve and sometimes that little set screw gets a little stuck. So we're gonna, just gonna play with it a little bit. Okay, good. Let's put that back in there. And uh, we still got that flow switch. Well, that didn't do it. All right, we're still there. We have flow issue. So there is our flow sensor. And here is our circulator. Our circulator is blazing hot to the touch, by the way. Blazing hot to the touch. And let's see. Let's see if it's moving any water. Hold on. I bet you it's seized up. What do you want to bet this? Ow, damn, it's hot. Yeah. She's on fire. Hmm. All right, let's turn power off. And let's bleed. Let's bleed some air first. Now, we are missing a little black tube from here. That way we could purge from this little torpedo looking guy right here. So let's uh, steal, steal this one for now, maybe. Maybe, all right, let's get this bucket. And we're going to bleed from there. All right. We don't get any air there. So that's, I guess that's a good thing. All right, I removed the two bolts on top, two bolts on bottom.
pull the circulator out after loosening this up and removing that retaining clip. And there it is. And she's not moving at all. Um, she's stuck. I guess we could try taking this grunt for circulator apart. But for now, I'm just going to put in a Takeo uh, 007 or 0015 ECM circulator. Replacement's going to be a Takeo 0015E. This is their three-speed uh, ECM, unlike the regular PSC motor circulator on the Grunfus. And um, since my positioning of the flange, um, when I put it back into the bore, is going to be in this orientation, right? And I'm I'm facing the right. The left side is facing our speed selectors. I won't be able to wire it, so I'm going to wire it in advance. So we're going to loosen up with a small Phillip screwdriver, taking off the electrical compartment from here. Okay. And our wiring assembly or wiring harness with the Molex connector is gonna go through here. Now it's kind of odd that the other one was just shoved in there like this, factory. I'm curious if there is no, um, I guess no, I don't know, connector there. It's interesting. So I'm not worried about it shorting out because it's ABS plastic. I'm not worried about someone pulling on this. So I'm just going to connect the other one, the way the other one was. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I'm just, uh, I'm in a pinch right now. I want to make, get this system up and running because it's cold out. So I'm using the Wagos. These are the lever connector 221s. This is for two conductor wire. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box down below. And by the way, if you guys buy on Amazon, I would appreciate it if you use my um, affiliate link. I'll get a small commission, you know, like a couple percent on every purchase you make on Amazon. And it really helps me out, helps the channel out. All right. It's nice getting like $200 a month from Amazon as, a, as an affiliate. It's not bad. You know, it pays the cable bill. It's not bad. Well, not really. Uh, what does it pay? $200? I don't know, it pays for something. Cell phone bill? No, I got like 14 devices on my cell phone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, okay, so one thing to keep in mind is the direction of flow. Now, there's our arrow, and we want to point it up because the other one was pointing up as well. We have the gaskets that came with the circulator. We're going to put those on there, and we're going to try to shove it into, into there. So, um, wish me luck. Okay. Um, okay. I'm okay with that. I would like to possibly spin it the other way around, but you know what? I'm okay with it right there. I really am. This will go down a little bit. Let me get a couple. Um, this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be a little tricky. Let's see. Let's get. Uh, let's get one on the other side. Right, right there. Peter, you want to catch that nut? Yeah. In the bolt? Because it'll just fit into that little slot right there. Go right into her slot. There we go. Oh, you're caught. Excellent. So now she'll stay there. Perfect. All right. So now we'll do the others. All right, and she is basically just almost flush with the front left access panel here front left access the left access panel right there um secured using the the ratchet right there it's nice this is a five six let's say five eight five eights and yeah five eights that helps with tightening up those bolts um let's let in some water Checking for leaks at the same time. Checking our pressure gauge. So far, so good. All right, making sure our relief valve is correct. That is a 30 PSI relief valve, perfect. Our system's almost full. Okay, we got some water there. Now we do gotta bleed out some air. So we have to bleed out from there. Let's... I wish the black hose was here so we can bleed, but it's not. All right, let's do our best. All right, we are slowly, here it 
comes. She's dribbling. She is a dribbler. <laughs> it's like a little coin key vent on top of a radiator. Mm -hmm. Same principle. We're gonna get, gotta get the air out of the top of the heat exchanger. So it looks like we're All right, Peter, moment of truth. Um, let's open up this valve. Let's open up this valve. Turn the power on, Let's see what happens. Waiting for power light to our circulator. There it is, good. Let's go to status. We still got some air in there. Looks like, see the flashing light? Yep. Uh, we still have an active fault. We, are, we got some air in there. Yep. Yeah, we still got air in there. Flow switch. See, flashing. Red and no bueno. We stole the hose from the air pressure switch going to the uh, the sump, the condensate sump, to uh, purge out. Let's turn, let's hold that, let's turn the power on. Power on? Yeah. You're probably not going to get something because of that. We're gonna get a little. Gonna get a lot of air out of there, though. Still getting that flashing white light, though. We do have a red screen, which is fine because that pressure switch is not connected. But we want to get all this air out of there. Yeah. A lot of air. Just try hit hit the switch. Good. Wow, we actually had ignition. So heard that, right? Oh really? Yeah. All right. We had ignition. So we had flow. Finally. All right, we're having a sensor error, hopefully, I think, because of that uh, pressure tubing not hooked up. But let's uh, okay, we're gonna get rid of the bucket for a second, for now at least. And uh, let's initiate power, a startup again with this unit. And let's see. Air. You can hear it. Okay. You know what? I'm going to be perfectly honest. I fake it until I make it. Seriously. It's the only way to do it. The only way to do it. I've never, ever, ever worked on a K2 before, but I figured it out using my noggin. And the lesson learned here is don't be intimidated by what you don't know, right? Grasp. By the by the horns grab that bull by the horns what you don't know and you become that much more valuable facts our system is running okay we have a set point of 180 degrees she's running at 20 percent and um she's slowly climbing but look at that we have the taco circulator in there we're probably going to adjust the speed let me get a flat screwdriver because right now it's on a uh, high speed we're going to put that on medium speed there you go, right there. As a matter of fact, the old one was on low. We're going to put this one on low as well. Okay. And um, there we have it. Not too shabby. All right, I just threw it into high fire. Manual rate. Which we're climbing in temperature. Very good. Not bad. 135 and climbing. We are in high fire right now. Set point is 180, and that gas valve is running at 100%. We're going to take a look at our tridicator gauge. Let's feel our supply piping. What do you feel? Any, any feel cold or is it warming up? Oh, this one's hot. Okay. And we're going to go back into our manual adjustment. I'm still logged in. Manual control, auto, boom. 
And uh, now that we're here, let's save our information because Ace, <laughs> I am the Ace. <laughs>